This is the Zyun Weevil S gimbal with the transmount, zoom, and focus servo. Now this isn't meant to be a, a full review of either the Weevil S or the uh, transmount servo, but rather just a little bit of a short video to let you know of some of the pitfalls that you might find when you put this thing together. And how you mount the uh, camera on the gimbal would determine how well this servo motor is going to fit. Uh, what I've done here is I've, I have used their uh, adapter plate, which raises the whole camera up off of the Arca Swiss uh, mount, which is this thing. That's a quick release. This is also a quick release. I think it's supposed to be Manfrotto RC2 compatible. But first thing you do is you mount uh, this uh, plate to the camera and then mount the, uh, the Arca Swiss release plate to that riser. And the reason you have to do that sometimes is because uh, you need enough clearance under here so that this um, tooth band that you put on to, to drive the focus ring in this case, uh, sometimes it has to be raised up to avoid hitting or rubbing against the quick release plate. Now once you've raised that up and uh, got enough clearance for the, the actual lens that you're using, um, the important thing is where you place this um, attachment point because that's going to affect balance. But not only that, it's going to also affect whether or not you can use this uh, servo on this side of the camera or whether you have to spin it around and attach it uh, under, under here actually is where it attaches and then engages the teeth on this side. Just to give you an example of one of the problems you can run into, you can see how closely spaced these, these two um, screws are. This is for attaching this mounting bar for the servo to this bracket. And you can see this is the bracket that can fasten on either side. You can just spin it around and attach it over here. But then it interferes with this uh, tightening nut which tightens the servo motor to this, this pole or this post. And that happens most frequently when you're right up against the collar that attaches this uh, pipe to this bracket. So by moving the camera back and forth, uh, you'll eventually find a spot, and this is gonna take a lot of back and forth, where you do have enough clearance that you're not gonna knock these two screws together they are pretty close now, and I managed to just make it work. But as you can see, uh, how far forward or backward this thing is, is going to determine whether it can engage with the, uh, the tooth band that's on the, on the focus ring in this case, or it could be a zoom, zoom ring as well if it's the max. This is the max version. The light version doesn't, uh, can't handle the drag on a, a zoom ring. Can only, uh, can only handle the drag on a, a focus ring. So, but since this is the max version, it can be used on either focus or zoom. Now here's a problem that plagued me from the start. You have to realize that this servo, the max, was designed uh, primarily for the Weevil Lab and I think the Crane 3 or something like that. This being the Weevil S, they have now moved the connection point for this cable on this side up to here and it, on the Weevil it's down here and in fact you can see on the on the box and also in the uh, Weevil S instruction manual that they still show it as being connected here. Well as a result on the first time I tried this and you can see this is still pretty pretty short this cable didn't quite reach so Zayun has not addressed that problem to my knowledge by providing a slightly longer cable here. All, all you need is another two centimeters. So it would seem that the shorter the, the barrel of the lens, uh, the fewer choices you have in terms of, you know, how you place this. Obviously, if this was a longer lens, like a zoom lens, and the focus ring or the zoom ring were out here, 
you could probably mount the, uh, the servo on this side of the collar and kind of get it away, well away from, from uh, this collar, which is where you get this interference between the two screws. Keep in mind though, as you move this servo back and forth, it's going to affect um, the tilt balance and you're gonna to have to readjust that before using the gimbal. And also if you switch this around to the other side, same deal there. In fact, that's going to affect probably the, the roll parameter. Uh, so make sure you get that balanced up again before you use the gimbal. So there you go. It's uh, not necessarily that straightforward, but uh, once you find that sweet spot, uh, you can just keep repeating it and uh, it should be easy to set up from there on in. Now you are free to mount the servo on the other side of the lens, as you can see here. All that happens is that the servo now faces the other way because the teeth are on this side. Uh, a couple of things happen there, at least in this particular instance. You notice that now we're on the front side of this collar. The servo is mounted on the, the front part of the tube in front of this collar instead of behind it as it was on the other side. And that now has resulted in Luckily, some separation between these two, two tightening screws, so they're not batting into each other. And the other consequence is now we have the ability to uh, connect servo to the gimbal without stretching the heck out of this cable. So you have those options available. Well, I hope this short video was useful to you, especially if you've, uh, you're considering getting the Weeble S and the servo. Both very, very good products, great fun to use, but takes a little bit of work to, to set them up properly. So enjoy, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.